I'm super late to the party because I've been feeling unwell the past several days, but today we'll finally talk about the Omega Falls Apprentice Urgent Quest. It's relatively straightforward, so expect a very short video. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So at the very beginning, all you have to do is escort this tank. This tank is very, very squishy, so you do need to make sure that you keep picking up these crystals to heal it. Mainly because as the tank moves along, you can see the floor is kind of lava. It's constantly going to take damage as it moves. And on top of that, if any of the orcs or the barrel people, these guys with barrels, they hurt the tank a lot. Look at the tank's HP on the right hand side, right under the timer. You can see it got chunked really hard by these uh, alcoholic orc people. So uh, yeah, alcohol plus tank equal bad. So you just got to make sure you wipe out all those orcs ASAP. And you're going to see at the side, there's also these archers. The archers don't hurt as bad, but you want to kill them ASAP anyway. So usually how I do this is... Everyone tunnel visions on mobs. So what I do is I kind of babysit the tank and I make sure that I pick up all these crystals to uh, heal the tank basically. You can see here that once we pick up all these crystals, the tank heals quite significantly. And I also like to watch the tanks as six in case anything pops up behind and tries to uh, backdoor the tank. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I do. And you gotta escort the tank all the way to the very end, which takes around 12 minutes. So basically, just defend the tank. That's your number one priority. If the tank does get destroyed, you will automatically fail the mission. So another thing is, you see these blue crystals over here? If you attack them and break them, they will heal the tank's HP significantly. So you can use these crystals for emergency healing in case the tank does get damaged significantly as it'll heal it very, very quickly. And please don't be like DLB over here and just dance on top of the tank the entire trip because then your teammates might get mad at you. But in my case, we didn't really care. We're just trolling around and having a good time. So eventually you're gonna get your tank over here to this wall of death right here. If I could turn my camera around, yeah, you'll see this wall of death, the tank's gonna stand up on its legs and fire its ion cannon and destroy this wall. And once this wall gets destroyed, we're gonna get a little cutscene and our tank gets blown up. It's kind of silly. I, like, yeah, we escorted this tank all the way here only to see it get blown up. It's like, wow, look at that, it's so strong, ion cannon, and he's just like, no you, and it's just like, boom, destroyed. He's like, you have awoken me, I will now eat you all. And so now you transform into your Luther form. And um, here is the Toho part of the game. So over here, you will permanently be in Luther form. So you can fly around, you can move down, move up, so forth and so on. So there's a couple things I want to talk about in this part. And that is your left click is just your auto attack, right? This is your PP generator and there's auto lock on. So you don't need to press Z and go into like the reticle view or the zoomed in view. You can do that if you want. But in my case, I'm awfully lazy. So I don't, I just let the auto lock on do all the work for me so for the majority of the fight i'm just going to be using left click or auto attacks your right click is homing missiles you're basically going to charge up all these little crystals around you the longer you hold it the more targets you lock onto and then you let go and then all those little projectiles that you summoned will just fly towards the targets that you locked onto you can lock onto multiple targets so the longer you hold down the right click the more targets you're going to lock on however there is a limit i think there's a limit of like six different targets and that's the most it can lock onto your mouse three button is going to be a dash forward is the same ability as your number three. So when you hold down shift to switch your weapon palette, you're going to notice that you have three additional abilities. So your left click is now a charged up laser. This is a very, very powerful spell. You can use this indefinitely as many times as you want, unlike your number two ability, which is a huge laser, which deals a ton of damage, but you can only use it once in the fight. So I highly recommend you guys to do the shift left click, especially when he opens up his mouth. His mouth is right here. This I, I don't actually know if it's a mouth or not, but I'm going to call it a mouth. And when this part opens up, you can laser that part with your shift left click and deal tons of damage. The left click does need to charge up a little bit. And then once it's charged up, then you let go and you'll fire a concentrated laser at it. Your shift right click is you shoot like a little cluster bomb and it just slowly floats towards the target and just explodes. 
um, I don't use it very often. And then your shift mouse 3 button will make you fly downwards or you can just press the 4 key. So uh, 3 for boost forward, 4 for fly down, you can use spacebar to fly up, and then you can double tap your directional keys or use the X key in order to do a barrel roll. And then last but not least, you've got your one ability, which is like a shield. You can use it for an iframe. However, it has a very small iframe window. So uh, you got to get pretty good at the timing. I suck at the timing, so I basically never use it. And your number two is your ultimate laser beam. So uh, save that when the boss isn't moving and when he's like, you know, dazed or stunned. And then you can deal tons of damage. Alright, let's talk about the weak spots for this boss. It's relatively simple. The first thing you want to destroy are going to be these two glowy red things. Once you destroy that, you see where this gem is? This part's going to expose a weak spot. Basically, I call it his mouth. I don't know if it is or not, but it's going to expose that area and that is where you want to focus fire. You're going to deal the most damage when you focus this area right here. However, if you're not able to destroy his two weak spots fast enough and he doesn't expose his weak spot right here, then you want to prioritize prioritize as wings. You can see he has six wings over here and you want to hit this red area right here. If you have auto lock on enabled or like you're just not in your Z view, then it will automatically lock on to these areas as long as you're looking in the general direction and it's sort of centered, then you just blow these wings up. There's a total of six wings. You blow all six wings and then you focus these two and then you focus this mouth and then you'll be all good to go. It's very, very straightforward. So when you have done all of that and you break the last part over here, you'll be dazed like this. And this is where you use your number two because you're going to be shooting this area right here and you use your number two and you shoot the giant laser and you'll deal tons and tons of damage. Then he gets mad and summons these two bugs. These two bugs will explode if you don't destroy them. And when they do explode, they kill everything on the map. So make sure to target these and don't be like me and totally ignore them. Because if you totally ignore them, they're going to blow up and they're going to kill everyone. You're going to see them explode here relatively soon because we ignore it. And kaboom, you see everyone dies because we didn't destroy the silly bug. And then we all look stupid. So uh, make sure to destroy the bug so that this doesn't happen to you. So soon after, the boss will get mad and cast this ability right here. And so what you want to do is you want to avoid this ring and you want to avoid the laser, obviously. However, the ring will move around. And so you just kind of want to stay in this middle zone, this safe area. Don't be like me. I literally just flew straight into this because uh, I, I didn't know what it did. You can see right here, I'm like, wee, I'm a moth. And then you instantly die. So what you want to do is just kind of chill here. You can see that the laser beam became a ring. And then um, so just avoid all the shiny bits and don't be like me and fly into the shiny bit and you'll just die if you do that. So when he shoots all these little claw things at you, just do barrel rolls left and right and you'll be able to dodge all of them. It's uh, not actually that difficult. Just keep tapping dodge while holding down the uh, auto attack so that you keep regaining your PP so that you can indefinitely keep barrel rolling. So eventually the boss will get downed and we can finally get out of our silly Luther form. And all you need to do is focus on those bright red spots, right? You're just gonna go there and auto attack the crap out of these and the fight is pretty much going to be over. You're going to break one arm, his second arm's going to come out, you're going to break the second arm, and he's going to grab the ledge with his mouth, and then you beat the crap out of his mouth, and um, yeah, he dies. So let's just fast forward to that part. And now he's falling, he comes back up, his last ditch effort, grabs with his mouth, and we destroy the weak spot right here, and then he will die. Very, very straightforward. Then we get the coolest cutscene ever, so we're going to see that. Da -da -da -da. He's like, oh no, here we are with the power of friendship. We summon Z Buster Sword. And we get a really cool cut in like that. And then kaboom, destroyed. And voila, there we go. Congratulations. Very, very simple. And then we're going to destroy the crystal. And you're going to see that I get a rare item. Hey, hey. And there we go, I got the Allure Grenz, which is a bow. Pretty happy about this. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with the bow, but I'm just going to hold on to it. You never know when you might need it later down the line. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say
accept you're welcome for the heat.